So a growing concern about a natural drug on the market that's being used to treat opioid addiction. Some lawmakers and the Food and Drug Administration don't approve. Kratom is a plant-based uh, is a plant, plant based rather that grows naturally in Thailand, Malaysia, and Indonesia. The FDA issued a mandatory recall today for a company that distributes it in the United States. That's after inspectors detected salmonella in products coming from Triangle Pharma Naturals. But the owner of a local store says Kratom can be a safe alternative to opioids. It's tonight's top story. Local force Tara Rahman joins us live in the newsroom with the details. Tara? Jim, Tiffany, right now, Kratom is legal in both Illinois and Iowa for people 18 and up. But an Illinois lawmaker has introduced a bill to ban the product, and one local seller says that could prove to be a deadly move. A plant-based product is blooming in the Quad Cities. We have two different locations, and we sell it constantly in both of them, so I think it's definitely growing. It's called Kratom, and it's being used to push back against the nationwide opioid epidemic. People are really just trying to find a much more natural, better for their body replacement for you know opiates and opioids. But not everyone is on board with this alternative. The Food and Drug Administration hasn't approved any uses of Kratom. The agency says their research indicates the drug has the same effects on the brain as morphine and is warning consumers to avoid the product until more studies can be done. It has habit forming things like anything does. Um, you can be a, you know you can have habits forming around chocolate. Um, but the fact of where, again, the, the, it's a safer and healthier alternative. Jacob Jensen stocks Kratom at his Cloud9 shops in Moline and Davenport. He started off selling nearly 5,000 capsules each month. About eight months later, he's selling that same amount per week. Absolutely benefits uh, pre people that are addicts and people that are trying to get away from those addictions. I've seen no negative effects on the actual people that use it. Jensen says efforts to ban Kratom in Illinois would not only hurt business, it could be deadly. Over the last five years, over 200,000 deaths are attributed to opioid use to where in that same period of time we have only 44 deaths worldwide attributed to Kratom. That should concern the community. If we have a healthy hey. alternative, to this you know, epidemic and the government wants to take that off the market to continue to give things that have been proven to cause deaths every single day. Cloud9 owner Jacob Jensen says he doesn't have a problem with the FDA regulating Kratom. He says that would actually help keep his customers safe. Jensen says he just opposes an outright ban on the product. In the newsroom, Tahara Rahman, Local 4 News. Tahara, thank you. And